X-Men First Class. Here we have like the early days X-Men, basically. We have the original team and the original costumes. And we have Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch as bad guys, which is how they started. They started off in the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. All right, so it says, in the time where mutants were first coming to, to the light, Charles Xavier gathered the most promising of these outcasts and created the first class of his special school for gifted youngsters. Through much hardship and excruciating training, these youngsters were shaped into the first team of mutant heroes, the X-Men. Their training is about to be put to the test against the combined forces of the Maximoff twins. Excellent. Love it. All right, so let's pop this sucker open. I, uh, a while back, started to go back and read all the X-Men comics, starting from, like, the very first number one issue, which I had not read before. And, wowie, some of the writing in those old issues is interesting, to say the least. Uh, writing got better over the years, I'll just say that. Um, but it was fun. It was fun to check it out and see those early days, uh, even though it's very dated form of storytelling at this point. Still enjoyed it. All right, here is our little rules pamphlet. This is just one sheet, which makes you think there's not a lot of twists to things in here. We'll see. Oh, we have a danger room. I guess it's sort of location. That's a smaller version. We've got some, looks like snowflake things. Okay, so here's our regular size locations. Let's see what this is. Island M, I'm assuming that's uh, Magneto's. Cape Citadel, vaguely remember that. I think that's where, I think that's the place that Magneto attacked early on, I'm not sure. Uh, Xavier Skulls for gifted, gifted Youngsters, that had to be a location in here somewhere. So we have Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, it looks like you fight them together, oops, which makes some sense. And you know, in those early comics, it was kind of interesting because Scarlet Witch, was you know, she's in the Brotherhood, but she was almost always like, oh, I don't know if we should be doing this. I don't know if we should. So she was very conflicted about being a bad guy the whole time, but um, Magneto was written in such a way where he was very domineering and kind of over the top, to be honest, in those early days. The other thing that's always kind of funny is one thing I like about, I'm going to call him Magneto because I can't stand saying Magneto. I know it's technically wrong. I've ranted about it before. But anyway, one thing that... Uh, is interesting about him is that you know one of the things that people love about him is that he is a bad guy who feels like he is doing what is right and i think that's very true but it's still kind of strange that he started off calling his group the brotherhood of evil mutants because you know he doesn't think that all right so there's cyclops marvel girl also no Jean Grey. Okay, Iceman. Okay, well, I should have known that's where the Frost tokens were from. I don't know exactly what he does, but I'm sure it has some kind of cool effect. There's Beast. Oh, I like that his little picture up here is upside down because he can hang off things really well because he's extremely agile. There's Angel. And then here's some of your bad guy stuff with Scarlet Witch of Quicksilver. Very cool. Okay. Uh, there's some little cards down here. So I'm curious what these are. These all say training on them. Really careful this. This one's very tight. Um, yeah, I don't know what these do, how they play in exactly. Okay, so we'll kind of discard some permanent effect things. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's see how that works out. But let's look at the characters. All right, we have Scarlet Witch, who has long been one of my favorite Avengers, but of course, again, here, she is a bad guy. Quicksilver, who has long been one of my least favorite Avengers, to be honest with you. He's always seems like such a pain in the ass. I just never liked the character, but uh, they've done him really well in the movies, so that's um, that's nice. Uh, we got Cyclops. Uh, I always found him so stuffy and dull, but I think they've done more stuff with him lately. Uh, his power was cool, but, you know, that's about it. So uh, we have... Marvel Girl here. We, I wonder how many versions of Jean Grey we have across this whole thing, because she's done a lot. We have Beast before he was blue and furry. And regular Angel before he had bladed wings. And here's Iceman. So they use a regular plastic on this one rather than going with the 
clear as plastic, but that's still pretty cool. All right. Well, there it is. That is X-Men. Wow. First class. What am I doing wrong here? Am I putting these in the wrong way? This doesn't look like it should go this way. I don't know. Anyway, okay, sure. We're just going to go with that. <laughs> I don't remember what I did five minutes ago. You can't expect me to. All right. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can know about the next time I put out a video. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all around the table again at All Games New and Old. Bye. If you like that video, you have no idea how much I respect your wise and intelligent opinion. And you might like this video. Or this one. Either way, if you want to go ahead and click this button to subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. We'll see you around the table. Bye. Bye.